Ladies and gentlemen, we are in beautiful Coog on this foggy morning. Welcome to Power Drift. Now, the car industry over the years has gone through a radical shift. The demand for SUVs last year surpassed that of sedans. 15 years ago, if somebody told you that you could buy a Porsche or even a Bentley SUV, they'd think you'd be crazy. In India, there's no denying the fact that we love SUVs. So much so that manufacturers offer us something called compact SUVs, which are essentially SUVs based on sedan platforms. Mercedes-Benz has always been the epitome of German luxury. And today, we are going to try out the latest offering, the Mercedes GLC. So the question is, what is the GLC? Well, to understand this car, we first have to understand Mercedes' new SUV nomenclature. You see, similar to the sedans, all the SUVs now come prefixed with the term GL. So you have the GLA, which is based on the A-Class, the GLE, which was the previous generation ML, the GL is now the GLS. As you can tell by now, there is a missing piece in this puzzle, and that is where the GLC comes in. The new GLC embodies Mercedes' fluidic design philosophy, which makes the GLC more curves than squares. In the front, the imposing three-star logo is housed in a beautiful chrome slatted grille in a shade Mercedes call matte iridium. The impressive LED headlamps are placed inside a contoured housing. These lights are adaptive and offer excellent throw. The GLC comes equipped with chrome skid plates in the front and rear that adds a layer of protection to the car's underpinnings. The overall design has some interesting details like the lines on the bonnet, chrome inserts around the entire window frame and bold shoulder lines. Now in the back, the car has a squatted stance that visually makes the design look more compact and it's all brought together by the chrome tipped twin exhaust pipes. Now when it comes to boot space, the GLC offers 550 litres of boot space which is ample for your weekend trips. If you pull these two little levers here, the seats completely fold down and now you have access to 1600 litres of boot space. Parcel shelf in the way, right? Well wrong, the GLC has a little trick up its sleeve. All you have to do is remove the shelf, open this little hinge and it fits in nice and comfortably. No fuss. Well, the GSC has another little party trick. Now, let's say you've come back from the grocery store and your groceries are all over the place. Well, Mercedes have thought about that as well. What they offer with the car, and I kid you not, is a little parcel basket, which you can conveniently keep in the back. How cool is that? Now, the middle row in Typical Mercedes fashion is a very comfortable place to be. There is ample amounts of leg room. You have a ton of headroom. Even if you're over six feet tall, you're gonna find yourself very comfortable. Man-made leather seats are supremely comfortable that offer a lot of good lumbar support. You have some storage space and cup holders. You have rear AC vents with a little 12 volt socket to plug in some electronics to get some work done. You even have isofix mounts, which are very easily accessible. My only concern is that the bench itself is a little bit short, so it doesn't offer the best thigh support in the world. So on long road trips, what that means is you're going to have to sort of shimmy around a little bit to find a spot that's comfortable for you. And then you're ready to go. Now the front seat is where it all comes together. The layout is very similar to the C-Class, so if you've been in one, you'll find yourself right at home. The seats themselves are 12-way adjustable with three memory functions, so regardless of your body type, you will find a position that works for you. I'm still not the biggest fan of this pop-out screen. I think it interferes with the lines of the dash, and Mercedes' infotainment system itself is not the most intuitive of systems to use, unlike maybe the Q5, for example. But apart from that, a lot of cool cubby holes and little spaces to keep things just a great place to be. So 
the car we're driving is the 2.1 liter diesel. Now this produces 170 bhp and 400 newton meters of torque. The engine is mated to Mercedes's 9G Tronic gearbox. Yes, it has 9 forward speeds. Mercedes claim that it's the perfect balance between performance and economy. The car comes with five driving modes, starting from Eco all the way up to Sport Plus and Individual. And what that basically does is it remaps the throttle and the gearbox to give it a bit more sporty feel. However, this steering wheel itself is electrically assisted and the steering is quite numb. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing because this is a car designed to cruise around in comfort. This is not the car you buy to hit every apex or to feel every corner. So we're now in the petrol version of the GLC. This is a 2 litre petrol motor that produces 250 bhp and 370 Nm meters of torque. This is a good 80 bhp more than the diesel version and the car itself weighs 100 kilos less than the diesel version of the GLC. The diesel produces about 68 bhp per ton and this petrol version produces 102 bhp per ton. That means that on its feet it's a lot more sprightly. While the diesel was struggling in the corners a little bit with its weight, this one pulls itself together a lot better. And what this means is that this car is a much more sportier machine to drive. Mercedes mentioned that both the cars have distinct driving personalities and this is very apparent. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen, the Mercedes GLC and this is such a unique offering. If you want a GLC just to cruise around it in comfort, the diesel is the way to go. But if you want a GLC for a little bit more adventure and sportiness, or if you live in Delhi, the petrol is the way to go. Thank you so much for watching and if you have made it this far, we have a special surprise just for you. What we'd like you to do is to share this video tagging a friend of yours who you'd like to win a gift. Now what is this gift that you're asking about? Well, I'm glad you asked. What your friend could win is a brand spanking new Mercedes GLC scale model. So what are you waiting for? Do share this video tag and do let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Okay, now... <laughs> <laughs> you get tired, I think you've done enough.